Hey folks, Rich Bittis, Datacom, New Zealand here. Quick guide of how to get the SharePoint images from your Power Apps when you don't have a SharePoint window open. Sure, you may have a connection to SharePoint as a data source, but your images may not work. Um, you might be able to get metadata about them, but the actual image may not present. So you could end up with um, something a bit like this. So I have here, data source goes to my images library, which is a document library with images in it. Um, and I have an image here, um, which is using this item linked item. And because I don't have any, um, any SharePoint windows open in this particular browser session, then nothing will show up there. If I did have a SharePoint window open, um, or had already had a, a cookie or a token that's already been created in a, this particular same web session, then that image would show up using linked item, but it's not doing it now because I don't have that open. So the other one to do, and this over here is an HTML control with um, an image inside it. Um, so I've got one going to Pexels, which is the first one, and I'm using the same snippet linked item. Um, and you can see, same as with the main gallery, uh, we're getting um, we can see the ID twice, four and four there, um, but the rendering of this item, linked item, isn't happening. And if we look, take a look at that um, through the browser, um, on this one here, and inspect that, you'll see that it is actually finding that image. That's the path to the image. Uh, but we've got errors in our console um, that are all returning 404s. So all these images that are there, um, they're all getting not found 404 because we're not authenticated into SharePoint at the time of being in this browser session. Um, so how do you get around that? Okay, so there is a way. It's not doesn't work in HTML control. So sorry, folks. Um, just whack it into a gallery. It'll be fine then. So on this screen here, yeah. uh, take a second to load because I've got some large bits of text that are going to come up. But this is the same gallery. So DWC images, the one with no image is the same linked item, but the image that we can see it is called this item base64 string. That's the clue, right? So if you don't know what base64 encoding is, then now's the time to go look it up. Go to a website such as base64image.de um, and drag and drop images into this area. There are other ones of this that goes to base64. Once you've got an image, um, click on show code for this guy um, and then copy it. We'll just click in there, triple click, um, copy and paste that. So the old click, 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 oh, click, click, click. There we go. Um, grab it. It's a massive string of text. So you can then, what you do with this is you take this string, go into SharePoint, make a multi line text field, plain text, tick the box to allow unlimited length because you will need unlimited length. Um, and then paste in this value and then refresh your data source and then you can use those images in your galleries when you're not logged into SharePoint. Um, and then testing on this side, so this this is what the string looks like. So this is another gallery where I'm showing the, the, the encoded um, base64 string. So you can see on the right here, uh, we've got data colon image slash JPEG or for the other one it's PNG. Problem is with an HTML control, this cool stuff gets stripped out. So if we look at these three things here, well I've got one called um, test image, which is where I've taken the direct path to that file. So for contempt, for surprised, um, and then sort of tried to manufacture a URL, like a static URL to that item in the control, in that inside the HTML control. This would work if you put it into a normal image control, but inside an HTML text control, doesn't work uh, because the data source is still SharePoint. If it was on the web, public, then we would be able to find it. So it's because we've got to go through the HTTPS, have a authentication token and ready to go. So this one here is the linked item, which is the same as this guy. Both of them don't work. Base64, I'm trying to use this snippet of code um, inside my image um, HTML control or code um, and the first one's um, hard coded right so if I click on each of these let's inspect them <coughs> we'll see how each of these work so the first one test image is 
uh, me using a direct path to the image. So I'm taking the first part of the URL uh, for my um, site and then I'm adding the name of the file after it. But that doesn't work. I still get those errors with 404. Can't find it still. So linked item, we're using the this, uh, this item dot linked item um, as the path. So it also finds the path, but we're not logged in. Unfortunately, with base64, all of the code that we use in the control is completely stripped out. So all we do is we get, we get an image with an alt of base64 where there's no um, SRC equals is completely wiped out. So I don't know why that is. Um, could be just a support issue. Um, it's a pretty big piece of bit of um, texty code string um, that exists um, comes through. So maybe that's the cause. It's just too big, um, but it's not supported um, inside the HTML control. But it is supported inside an image control. So just use that. Now let's just try this. If I go here in my app, this could be a bit slow because the, all these these ones here are massive um, in terms of the, the file length. Let's launch a SharePoint window and log in. And then we'll refresh the data source in that app and you'll see what um, happens if you just have your normal SharePoint session up and running, right? So here we go. So we've, we've authenticated into SharePoint. Wait for that to stop spinning, which is cool. So I might just not wait for it to stop spinning because it might take ages. And I'll just refresh my data source and hopefully we'll see those images magically pop in. So on the go slow. The reason it's slow is because I'm using those massive um, encoded items in Parrot, so it's, ch it's chugging. Um, it's not normally this slow, but if you do ever use encoded images in your SharePoint library, don't put them as a, a column in your view that you're gonna be editing all your files with because it will lag massively. So what you wanna do is have them in your library and then click on an item and then get the pop-out window to come from the right where you can see the columns um, and then you'll be able to um, drop in the, the encoded path to that file. Um, just don't have it in your main, your main view, otherwise, yeah, you will experience huge, huge delays. So we are refreshing. It might take a while. There's only eight images or so in this, but those encoded paths are long. So that's the one performance thing to be aware of. But you can see as we slowly catch up with ourselves. There we go. Those images are back. And so that one's back um, in there. So the two files, um, these would be a bit too big now, but I should probably delete that out. I can move one of these files across. So inside of this thing now, we've got all the images showing except the last one. So base64 will be just down the bottom. Um, but the file name with extension and linked item will be working. Um, the linked item in there is working, as is the base64. And if I scroll, this will be full size. These images is why a bit of a problem. I should have put some size things on them. Um, if I play it, we'll be able to scroll down to there. There we go. We can see both there's two images and then there's the base64 bit showing at the bottom because that still doesn't work inside um, of the I've kind of hidden things, haven't I? There, Let's move this out of the way. There we go. So the base 64 one's still not showing, but the other two images are. But they're full size. So if you do put them in an HTML control, make sure you limit the height. But you can see those images do show. Um, there's two different images there. Um, I've got in my data source. If I show you that, um, site contents. You'll just see why I've got two different images in that first piece. So I've, I don't have the column showing, but if I click, we click on an item, get the pop out information showing. You see, there's the PNG file, which is the original picture of me being silly, um, and then down here, um, inside of properties, were at all. Let's just do it this way. I don't know why that wasn't popping out. 
taking a while. But it does. There will be a, again a performance hit. So if you've got lots and lots of images, um, I wouldn't suggest storing them in SharePoint. I would think try and use them in blob storage um, as a location to easily get to them and then deploy them via like a CDN. Um, from that, they'll be kind of public or authenticated against you. Um, whereas SharePoint's going to be slow to edit the information. As you can see, this is taking forever um, to open up. But that's why I'm even going to bother now. Because I've kind of got in the towel, pick a different one. Um, let's see if we can get that to show. There's me being surprised. Um, I want to edit all. Is this going to take forever as well? Possibly. Oh well, I'm going to can that. But imagine if I go to list settings, or library settings, sorry. have column equal base 64 string. If I look at the values of that, I have ticked the box to allow unlimited length. Um, and that's going to pop in and be my multiple lines of choice come in as, as plain text. So that's that's the workaround. You paste your values into there um, that you need to see. And then they will show up um, in your f in your on this left-hand column if you're not logged into SharePoint. If you have an active SharePoint session running, then you can use the straight link to item, but otherwise you're on base 64. If you're using an HTML text control um, and you're not logged into SharePoint, you're a bit stuffed. So I would use my gallery, have an HTML text control inside of my gallery possibly, and have use the image, the native image control in my um, gallery, just as we've done here, um, and just have an image with this item dot, whatever the name is of, um, the column that you've built to support the base 64. I hope that helps. Um, it's kind of convoluted. Um, as I said, if you need to have lots of images displaying in your apps, SharePoint may not be the most appropriate place if you're going to have lots of sessions that are running that aren't authenticated into session at run into SharePoint at the runtime. Um, think about using something like Blob Storage instead. Okay. Any questions? Just please ask away. Catch you soon. Bye.